What's up YouTube, it's your boy Will Motivation back again with another video and today the video is on the Volkswagen Jetta GLI 2023. So I'm actually getting ready to go pick it up. I'm in Medellin, Colombia, so got the Christmas tree out. I'm ready for the holidays already. But man, this car, I've only, I only got to drive it for a couple of days after I bought it the last time I was here. So a lot of people were probably wondering like what the heck happened with the, with the Jetta. But now we're getting ready to make some content with the Jetta. And then when I get back to Ohio, we're gonna continue with that BMW M4 content. I got a crazy build plan with the Lamborghini Huracan 2023, supercharged by VF Engineering. I got a crazy, some mods coming for that, crazy. So stay tuned for the, um, the Lambo content. And, uh, oh, we tuned the RS3. Stay, man, we got all kind of stuff going on, but today, we're going to go pick up the modified Jetta GLI. Um, when I left Columbia, I took it to the shop um, where they can do, do some mods on it that I talked about in the video where I bought it. So now we're going to see how those mods turned out. I'm super excited. Can't wait to drive this car. I actually have a tune for the car already. So we're going to do a video tuning the car. We're going to do a video reviewing the car. And why I think this is really one of the best cars like bang for your buck um that you can get i i really even like this car more than my um well i like the way it drives more than um, my audi s3s that i've had in the past and maybe even the rs3 now the rs3 is way faster so you know how that goes but we're gonna do a review on the car but now we're gonna go ahead and pick up the volkswagen jetta gli 2023 from the shop so let's go All right, so we made it to Auto Elite in Medellin, Colombia. And right here behind me, let me see if I can focus in on it. Right here behind me is the Jetta GLI with the mods. So let me show you guys all the mods we did to the car. All right, so check it out. The biggest mod is gonna be the wheels. Right there you can see the wheels. The wheels are by Petrol. I'll give you guys a link to Vivid Racing where you can get the wheels if you like, and then I'll I'll give you the exact model of wheel. But man, it came out spectacular. Only thing this car needs now is it needs to be lowered. The only problem is here in Colombia, man, there's a lot of steep hills and stuff like that, so I'll be worried about scraping. But man, it looks spectacular. Look at that. All right, so we did a bunch of touches, man. A bunch of touches. So we painted this black. Like one by one, they did the letters. Painted the, the surround black. That's paint, that's not a wrap. Painted the mirror caps black. We wrapped the roof black. So we wrapped that. Painted these black. Center column, those like center pillars. Painted those black, which looks way better because I'll show you kind of a before, and then we have the after. But before, those were like matte black. All of this trim along the bottom was matte black before. Painted those pieces gloss black, made it look way, way better. All right, let me change the angle so you guys can see the whole car. All right, there we go. All right, so we also painted, painted the handles. This is not a wrap, this is actually paint the door handles which came out great as you can see there um, the brakes were already red which looks really good against the black wheels um, oh yeah I purchased a lip this is actually an OEM part um, that comes on the American version but purchased this and shipped it down to Columbia straight from Volkswagen. Painted the GLI black. That used to be silver and red. I wanted to do something about this, so I think I'm gonna put a black one here. I'm gonna have to buy that probably from Amazon or something. Gloss black the whole, all of this trim, which was like a ashy matte color. 
but now we got it um, gloss black. I want to I want to gloss black the um, the tailpipes, but I'm gonna have to order some after <clears throat> aftermarket uh, exhaust tips. Tint was already done from the dealership. Man, those wheels look good. Look real good. I think I probably should have went with them, maybe a little bit thicker of a tire. But this is what the factory recommendation is. And it looks good right there. The gloss black door handles. And it looks nice. Check it out. We also did in the front. All of the little lip at the bottom. Gloss black. Gloss black the logo right here. Now all we gotta do is redo this, but the only thing is the sensor for the um, adaptive cruise control is in that Volkswagen logo. But look, we gloss black the little lip at the bottom. Man, it's looking good. Came out spectacular. This is Volkswagen's version of Nardo Gray. And that came out dope. Hey, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. I'll get some beauty shots during the day. But right now, we're gonna take this bad boy down to Parque Lleras. Get something to eat so I can show you guys the, the Medellin festivities. <laughs> we'll go down there, you know what I'm saying? So there it is, the beauty shot right there. It's the money shot. They're gonna make some um, logos for me for the wheels. Uh, and then we're gonna throw the, the uh, OEM wheels in the back. Should be dope. Yeah, man. Came out sick. Dope. Man, I've been loving this car since I got it, man. Highly recommend this car. Highly recommend. back again with another video and today we are reviewing my 2024 uh what is it uh jetta yeah a little, a little distracted there but here's the jetta let's get this review started so what we're going to do is we're going to take this car for a drive but i thought i'd show you guys this is the car after the modifications done to it i'm bringing it here to the volkswagen here in medellin colombia because i'm going to get some stuff done like fixed from when I did the mods on it, like the some of the sensors or something are off. So I gotta get that stuff done. But let's do a quick walk around in the car, then we'll take you guys for a drive, talk about the features of the car real quick. Yeah, there's a better view. Now these are aftermarket wheels by Petrol. Got these off of eBay. Look at the mods right there. We blacked out, gloss blacked that. Show you guys the video of when we picked it up. Let's talk about the features. Now I love this car. I just got it not too long ago. Um, this I bought in Medellin, Colombia. So the spec is more similar to a 2023 because there were no changes going into 2024. And then the US model, I'm not sure, it might be slightly different. But I did a few things to it, like I tinted the windows all the way around. But let me talk about some of the features. In the front, in that Volkswagen um, logo, there's a distance control for the automatic intelligent cruise control. So that works perfectly. It's very comes in handy i love it now this does not have lane keep and i'm glad it doesn't because i would not use it anyway but it does have distance control so we did modify the wheels we did blacked out a few things some accents blacked out the mirrors in the united states you can get the mirrors to come like that blacked out the roof in the united states i believe you can get it to come like that as well now let's take a quick look at the interior one thing I really love about this car is it's very roomy. Look at the room you have here in the back. I'm six foot two, 
and look, I got knee space in the front. Same as over here. You, you do have the center pull down, which is really nice. Two cups in there, or you can put it back. Oh, man, I love this car. Now, what it doesn't have back here that I wish it did is the USB plugs. No USB plugs. <clears throat> no uh, storage space here on the driver's side. On the passenger side, you got a tiny space. Barely usable. But you do have your dome lights that turn on when you open the doors. You can disable that if you want to. Look at the front front uh, space. Let's go around to the front real quick. <clears throat> Before we do that, I blacked out the bottom there. I did that. It's a little touch for me. One thing I like about this in the rear is all the trunk space. You can get a, enough luggage in here for three or four people, which is really, really nice. Huge trunk. I have a little SCAR audio amp and sub in here. You can get that on Amazon if you if you want, but it's a 10 inch speaker, love it. Oh, before I open the door, you can push the lock or unlock right here. So it's not touch sensitive. You can adjust the settings on the seat to set the seat wherever you want. Power seating right here, lumbar support, your trunk open right here, lock and unlock, window controls here, mirror controls here, and this is it does have a heated mirror. <clears throat> These seats are not leather, they're, they're like a like a synthetic type of leather with like contrasting red stitching and a red underneath. I like them a lot, actually. I would prefer this over leather for this model or, you know, this level of a car. Some features that it has. <clears throat> Let me turn it on real quick. Push button to start. So you don't have to stick a key in. Digital dash. It's got a digital dash. Lots of controls. You got your horn in the center, of course. This is a GLI model, obviously. Let me turn that down. Oh, steering wheel controls for the um, up and down on the volume. Track forward right here, up and down the volume. Distance control right there for the cruise. Speed control, cruise control. <clears throat> this is your sensors for around the car. For, for like, uh, it does have blind spot monitoring, which is great. So this car for me is loaded. Got your thing here for your control, your sunglasses. You got your sunroof right here. And, oh, giant screen. I believe this is a 10, nine inch or 10 inch screen uh, with Apple CarPlay, which is wireless, which I love. It's got your audio controls, which are digital. Let's see here. Yeah, audio controls, air, AC controls, obviously. Um, auto start stop you can turn that on and off jump back to uh, CarPlay right there so got your CarPlay here's your controls for it has heated and cooled seats which I love it's got um, automatic um, dual zone climate control which is great lots of storage space in the glove box huge little storage space here on the side huge two cups and a little cell phone type holder but you can also charge wireless wirelessly your cell phone right there and it's got two USB-C charging ports right here all right so this this car is loaded I get this car a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 to be honest with the features for the money you pay this car costs will cost about $29,000 in the United States pretty much fully loaded it has a 2.0 liter uh, engine in it. And let's see. That's what you guys want to know before I drive the car. If I leave something out, just drop me a comment. But a 2.0 liter turbo engine, very torquey. If I compare this to my RS3 and my S3, this actually feels more torquey. But of course, it does not have the top end that the S3 has. Um, or of course, not the RS3. But this car, because of the torque, it's more enjoyable to drive than my S3. My RS3, I drive that car to kind of act like a hooligan, so I wouldn't say it's more enjoyable than that, but it's debatable, to be honest, if not ridiculous. It's true. Uh, but what else, man? Um, got your cigarette lighter in here. Most people don't use that. I don't either. But a great car for the money. Now let's take this thing for a test drive. 
All right, so now we're gonna start the in-car review of the 2023 Jetta GLI in my fake Nardo gray. Um, now, the biggest thing that I like about this car, there's a lot of things that I like, but I'm gonna tell you the, the things that I, that I noticed immediately when I got in this car that I really liked um, was two things. One, how comfortable the suspension was over bumps. And comparing this car, like when I'm thinking about other cars that I've had that are similar, um, I'm comparing this car to my Audi S3 and my Audi RS3. Um, so those are like the comparisons that I have. And one of the problems that I had with the Audi S3 was the suspension was just too harsh. And immediately when I got into this car, I noticed how smooth and nice the, trans the uh, suspension was. Secondly, the thing I like about this car, why I think this is, this is, I think a better, in, in general, I think this is a better buy than the Audi S3, unless you, unless you want that little bit, a little bit more power, you go with the S3 and maybe you want a little bit more the styling of the S3, but I mean, the styling of this car is not bad and the interior, I think in this car is, is arguably on par with the, the S3. But here's what I noticed when I when I got in this car and started driving. The acceleration is really, really good. Acceleration is um, on point. And you hit the throttle. The throttle response is very good compared to the Audi RS3. And um, especially if you put it in sport mode. So I, this car drives a lot better when you put it in sport mode because it, the pickup is really good. But um, let's drive this thing a little bit. We're gonna take it up, up the mountainside. We're here in, we're here in Colombia, Medellin, Colombia. We're gonna take the car up the mountainside. We got our friend Kata, who almost got kicked off the channel. <laughs> we got her on the camera. <clears throat> so if the quality is good, give it a thumbs up. If the quality is bad, say something about Kata. Yeah, this car is really comfortable. Here's another thing I like about this car. The steering wheel. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at the steering wheel, look at it. It's beautiful. It has the perforated leather on the sides, which is great for grip. The smooth leather at the top and the bottom. It's got your tactile controls. A lot of people don't like these tactile controls, but honestly, they're not as bad as people think. Um, a lot of people were saying they accidentally touched the buttons and stuff happens, but I don't, I, I haven't had any problem with that because you got, you actually have to push down on the buttons in order for something to happen. So I haven't had any problem with it. It's fine for me, but this steering wheel is sporty. It's pretty. And, uh, I really like it. Um, and that's comparing it to an Audi steering wheel. This might be, this might be a little bit better. But the other nice thing about this car, it has adaptive cruise control, which means it automatically will adjust the distance um, between the car in front of you and that kind of thing. So it's a really good feature. You said the window, the windows, yeah, the window switch is not. I gotta reset the windows. I forget how to do that, but I did it once before. Look at the look at the touch screen the touch screen right here with Waze on it. This is a I believe a nine inch screen I think it is maybe a little bigger. Look at that look at that acceleration. Look at that look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, acceleration is good. Acceleration is on point. I give I give it two thumbs up for the acceleration. We're going to talk about the braking. We're going to talk about some of the features. If you look down here, we got heated seats. We got cool seats. Let's turn on the cool seats. Yeah, you like that. Uh, of course, you got your AC. You got dual climate control. AC. We 
We got dual climate control AC. We got um, wireless Apple CarPlay, which is a dope feature. We have wireless charging, like a wireless charging pad down here. If you look down there, that's wireless charging. Oh shoot, I accidentally almost put on the emergency brake. Wow, I didn't know you could do that. Whoa, I accidentally hit the emergency brake. That's scary. And it started to, it started to turn on. Um, but yeah, wireless charging. You got two USB-C charging ports. Right, that's good, yeah. Look at this, look at this design right there. It's pretty, it's beautiful. You like that? We got the sunroof, so we got a lot of light in here. We got, uh, man, we got a place to put your glasses. Look at that. Put your sunglasses in there. We got your lights up here, LED lighting. This, this car is loaded, man. This car is loaded. So, the stereo in this car was mediocre. It has like the upgraded, what do you call it? The um, Beats, the Beats audio system. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's not very good at all. So, I upgraded the audio system. I put a I put an amplifier in here for the highs, I put an amplifier in for the lows, and I added a SCAR Audio Bass tube, which sounds really, really good. So, if you're interested in getting one of those, just let me know, I'll tell you how to get one for a good price. But, man, I really like the features that you have in this car. Um, to me, it has all of the modern creature comforts that you want in a 2023 model car. Um, I really can't. And also, at least in the Colombian version of this car, it has this feature called auto hold. If you look right here, can you see that right there? Auto hold. What that does is allows you to take your foot off the brake and the car will stay um, with the brakes on. So you can kind of relax your feet and the car won't roll backwards if you're on a hill. You'll just move, you know, you hit the gas, it'll automatically release the brake and you can move forward. I love that feature, especially here in Medellin with all these hills and mountains and stuff. So we do definitely use that feature. What else we got in this car? What else we got? Sunroof. Um, we got the sunshade. So we could just take the screen, block a little bit of the sun because it does get hot. Uh oh, these motorcycles and stuff. Ugh, get a pollution. Damn. Damn. Oh man, we need something to, we need a feature to screen out that pollution. All right, what other features do we have? Uh, we're gonna talk, when we go up the hill, we're gonna drive a little bit. I'm gonna talk about the acceleration and how it feels. Now, one of the things, that people want to know about this car is the tunability. This is a, a turbo, um, what is this? The engine is a 2.0 liter engine. It's a turbo engine. And the horsepower is 260 horsepower, 268 horsepower, I believe. And the torque is right around 250. Traffic. So with that kind of horsepower, um, the car does move pretty good, and I think it feels a little faster than it actually is. Um, so when we get to driving up the mountain and everything, we'll turn the camera back on and talk about how it responds, um, how the brakes feel, how the transmission feels, and oh, let me show you something real quick. Look at the look at the digital dash. Yeah, it has a digital dash. You can change the features in this dash. Um, what you can't, it doesn't have a navigation in the dash, but I mean, you got your navigation right there. Look at that steering wheel. Love that steering wheel. Look at your controls right here. Look at your co-pilot. Interesting in Columbia. All right, pause. Yeah. Okay, so my my camera woman 
just starts recording and doesn't tell me she's recording, so yeah, have to work on that. But we're driving up a mountain right now, so here you can kind of get an idea of the acceleration and the power. So let's show them the acceleration. It's good. It's really good. The, the only question I have there is good. It sounds good too. Yeah. It sounds really good. Now, one thing that people complain about is that I want you to listen. You guys listen. Listen real quick. They say that some of that sound is pumped in. say some of that sound is pumped into the car I can't really tell if it is or not but I like the sound so if it's pumped in I don't care um, some people say they don't they don't want the fake sound or whatever but to me it sounds like it's really coming from the engine uh, so I have no complaints about the pumped in sound if there is any my only complaint is about my camera woman Shut up. All right, so the acceleration is great, as you can see and as you can hear. It makes this car fun to drive. Like it's really like a enjoyable car to drive. Um, these features come in handy as well, like with the adaptive cruise control. It has. Um, I don't know if it has lane keep. I can't remember if it has lane keep. I don't think it has lane keep. But. Um, I'll double check that, I'll double check that. Today we are eating at the best restaurant in Colombia. It's called Mar Moleo, Tradicion con Gusto. A tradition with pleasure, Mar Moleo. So we're gonna have the best dish that I've, one of the best dishes I've ever had in Colombia. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. We'll do a flu ball and then we'll let's go. Okay, so this is limonada cerezada. It's a lemonade, cherry lemonade. Very popular in Colombia. I'm surprised they don't make it in the United States. But they also make like a coconut version of this. That's kind of like a pina colada, but more of an icy mix to it. They, they have like, a, it's almost like an icy, but natural. Really, really good. Perfect. Oh my God, that's good. Cherry lemonade with icy. Get, get a good look at it. Her job of recording. You guys remember Kato before? Yeah, she's bad. Look at my drink. Is it good? Delicious. Yeah. Oh, what's this right here? Arepa. This is arepa with um, guacamole. It's pretty good, but those arepas fill me up real fast, and I want to save room for my food. So y'all stay tuned. Chicken, onions, and tomatoes marinated with the rice, the creamy rice. What is this you got? What is it? Yakimeshi. Okay, so she's gonna try it. We're gonna see if it's good. I'm gonna eat hers too. It's good. Let's see, let's see. It has like a little bit of steak in it. Look. 
It's good. She knows it's good. All right, I'm going to eat. I hope I don't get a copyright because of that music. Here we go. A little bit of chicken. Mmm. It's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm here to tell you guys to go to Wheel Motivation. The exotic cars is crazy. I've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing. But we need everybody else to subscribe to Wheel Motivation and support Wheel. I'm supporting them. You do the same.